What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling and today we are doing my WWE Royal Rumble 2023 predictions video. Now I've got no one with me to do it this year. I was going to ask my girlfriend but the time that she was going to be with me uh, doesn't actually correlate with you know making the predictions video etc etc. Uh, last year I had baby Tilly who's not a baby anymore. Uh, the year before that I had my mum but obviously this year it's just plain old me. So sorry if you're excited for having someone else. Uh, but yeah, you know, normally I, ha I try and make the rumble a bit more special for the predictions video, but it is just me this year. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say that this video is being recorded after the Go Home Raw, but before the Go Home Smackdown. So if there's any matches that are added, I will add them in the description and the comments alongside my prediction. I will be watching the show live this year. However, I will not be in my usual setup. Uh, I'm actually going over to a, uh, a big house sort of party style thing with a bunch of wrestlers that I train with. We're all going to watch the show together. So I will try and get live reactions up, but no guarantees as we're going to be drinking. And, you know, I'm not going to be, if I, if I, you know, I've had a bit too much to drink, I'm not going to be making videos because, oh God, that would just be a nightmare. But anyway, without further ado, I've rambled on long enough. Let's get right into match number one. Kicking off the show, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Raw Women's Championship match. Bianca Belair, the champion, defending against Alexa Bliss. Now, there's been a lot going on with Bliss recently. Uh, I actually think that she's losing here, Bianca Belair, to retain. But uh, I basically, I touched on it in one of my previous videos. I feel like they might have Uncle Howdy come out, but this time, Bliss could either, this could be either after she's lost the match or midway through. She goes off with Uncle Howdy. She walks off, she meets him, she goes with him and then enters the Rumble match later on in the night as like twisted fiend bliss, whatever she was. But uh, yeah, that's my prediction. Bianca Belair to retain the Raw Women's title. Next up, we have a Mountain Dew pitch black match. Now, I don't, I've got no idea what this is going to be. I don't think it's been revealed what this is going to be. I don't really want to know. I just want to be surprised uh, on the actual night and just see what happens. Bray Wyatt taking on LA Knight in his first televised match since his return to the company at Extreme Rules. He's wrestled on house shows, but he hasn't actually wrestled in a TV match yet. So, this will be interesting. Uh, LA Knight, you're definitely not winning. Bray Wyatt, 100% to pick up the W here. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship is on the line next as these guys have a Rumble Trilogy. The third match in said Rumble Trilogy, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns defending his title against Kevin Owens. Now these guys wrestled for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble 2017, at the Royal Rumble 2021 and now the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble 2023. However, the result is they're going to be the same as last time. Roman Reigns is going to be picking up the W against Kevin Owens and retaining both the WWE Undisputed uh, sorry, both the Universal and the WWE Championships. I don't know when they're going to split these titles up. Hopefully they do before WrestleMania. As I really want to see one belt defended on one night, the other belt defended on the other. Uh, but yeah, I think this could probably be the final undisputed WWE Universal Championship match we see. Uh, after this, hopefully, fingers crossed, they go both ways and the titles become separate again. But there you go. Never bet against the Tribal Chief. Result stays the same. Roman is winning this match. And that brings us to the first of two Royal Rumble matches on the card. First up, we have the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, confirmed entries so far are Liv Morgan, Candice LeRae, Rhea Ripley, Raquel Rodriguez, Shayna Baszler, Zelina Vega and Emma. There you go. That's the only confirmed entries. I mean, I'm really liking what WWE are doing this year. They've basically not confirmed anyone. I mean, the last like two, three years, they've been telling us like 27 of the participants. And it's like, guys, this ruins the whole point of the Royal Rumble. We're not supposed to know who everyone is. Um, but the winner, my predicted winner, is actually in that list. I am going with Rhea Ripley to pick up a W in the Women's Royal Rumble. I don't know if there's going to be many big returns. Uh, I guess I'd say Naomi could come back. Maybe Mickie James once again loaned from Impact to do a quick Royal Rumble um, spot once again. She's on like her retirement tour over there, I believe. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm really not too sure. You know, Lita, Trish Stratus, the people that are normally in it. The Women's Rumble is always full of surprises because they need to pad it out. 
Um, and that's not me being critical and trying to be a dick. That's me being serious. They have to pad it out as there is not enough women on the roster. So uh, we're always bound to see much more surprises in the women's match than we are the men's. But I'm sticking with my prediction. I am going with Rhea Ripley to pick up the win and challenge Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania 39. And finally, the main event of the evening, the men's Royal Rumble match. Now, confirmed participants are as follows. We have half the field confirmed so far. Kofi Kingston, Santos Escobar, Ricochet, Austin Theory, Seth Freakin Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Baron Corbin, Rey Mysterio, Gunther, Cody Rhodes, Amos, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Braun Strowman and Karrion Cross are the confirmed entries thus far. I have four potential winners this year. Number one, my main prediction, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I think that's the one that makes the most sense. That's the one that I want the most. Cody come back, win the Rumble, face Roman for the WWE Championship in the main event of night two of WrestleMania. That is the ideal scenario in my head. That is what I would like to see. However, number two, prediction number two, we could have The Rock winning. Uh, the Rock returning and winning, potentially. I don't know. It could happen. Um, we'll see. It's very up in the air, but they've been building to Roman versus Rock for a long time now. Hopefully it happens, but I don't think he needs to win the Royal Rumble to get to that result. And then number three is obviously Sami Zayn. I've spoken about this previously. You could have him uh, or based off of what happened on Raw last night, him saying, uh, Roman saying to Zayn, I don't want to see you till Saturday. I think he's going to say to Sammy, if to, you want to stay in the bloodline, you need to win the Royal Rumble so you can like relinquish your shot at me at WrestleMania. And then, you know, Roman can just sit back and relax at WrestleMania instead. Or that being his plan. Uh, but I think if Sammy was to win, that wouldn't happen. He'd challenge Roman for the belt. Uh, and then number four, a sleeper pick. Uh, was only spoken to me the other day when I was at my wrestling training uh, by Dez. He said Seth freaking Rollins is one that everyone is saying, or, sorry, I should say, no one is saying anything about, but he could pick up a victory here. You know, Seth versus Roman, night one of WrestleMania, Rock versus Roman, night two, or Roman versus Cody, night two. You know, hopefully if they do Roman having a match on each night this year, we have got two massive main events in store and I would love to see another Seth versus Roman match. I will never get bored of seeing them. But once again, guys, overall, my number one prediction is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Now, surprise returns. I've made a whole list about this if you want to go and check it out. Uh, but to quickly name a few, we've got The Rock. We've got Matt Cardona, Zack Ryder. I've even got Shawn Michaels on there. You know, go check out the list. I won't spoil it anymore. I will leave an annotation above so you can check it out. But there you go, guys. That was my WWE Royal Rumble 2023 predictions video. Let me know your predictions for the show in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for my live reactions. Fingers crossed I will get them up. Despite the fact me being at a party, we will just have to see what happens. But I will try my hardest. I promise you guys. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all at the Royal Rumble. Goodbye. Bye.